Democrats now have an even bigger scandal of their own to deal with. By now we know that the Trump dossier was paid for by Democrats including Clinton's campaign team and the DNC. Now, Goody wants answers as to why that happened and why the cover-up occurred for so long. Appearing on Fox News Sunday, House Oversight Committee Chairman Rep. Thray Goody said he believes the Clinton campaign may have laundered money to pay for the dossier, Breitbart reported. I'm not an election law expert, but the good news is you don't have to be to understated the absurdity of believing that you can launder all of your campaign money by just hiring a law firm, Goody told host Chris Wallace. Imagine if you and I were running for Congress, and we just hired a law firm and said hey, you go do all the oppo, you go buy all the television, you go buy all the bumper stickers, you go hire all the experts, and we're going to launder all of this through a law firm, he continued. I am also interested in sharing some memory tricks with folks at the DNC because no one can remember who paid $10 million to a law firm to do OPPO research, Goody noted. I find that stunning. $10 million and no one can remember who authorized it, who approved it. So you've got two issues, a memory issue and then the lack of transparency by laundering money through a law firm, Goody concluded. It just keeps getting worse for Hillary Clinton. Stay tuned. The story is likely to get even more wild as the weeks go on. Over the past week, bombshell reports have come out alleging that the Clinton campaign and the DNC funded the infamous Russian dossier that contained a boatload of fake news about President Donald Trump. Appearing on Fox News Sunday. The massive stunning development that should have Hillary Clinton very worried tonight. The Daily Beast reporting the Department of Justice has in fact reopened the investigation into Clinton's server scandal. Now, according to that report, investigators are now gathering information about how Clinton and her top aides handled classified information, including questions about how much classified information passed through her unsecure server, who put the information onto the server, which investigators knew about all this, and when did they know about this. Also breaking tonight, John Solomon, who will join us from the Hill, reporting that the FBI has also opened a brand new investigation as it relates to the Clinton Foundation, and they are trying to determine whether or not any pay for play occurred while Hillary Clinton was serving as Secretary of State. We have been saying, and I've been saying on this program, 2018 will be the year that all of these scandals boomerang back on the left, the media, the Democratic Party, and tonight it's all beginning to unfold. Now, for example, take tonight's new information about the Clinton server scandal and couple that with the DOJ now looking into the Uranium One scandal. And we're also learning that the DOJ will give House investigators access to all of the documents and all of the witnesses in the Russia investigation and the dossier investigation. Now, all this means, all this information about the Clinton bought and paid for Russian propaganda, that fake news salacious dossier, the Russian dossier, will finally now see the light of day. You got to buckle up. It's going to get very interesting. Now, also tonight, we'll get back to that in a minute. Look, if you don't work or live inside the mainstream media and their giant, well, incestuous, almost like bubble, well, then you might have seen that the economy under President Trump is on an absolute tear. This is good news for forgotten men and women in this country. Take a look at these numbers. Dow Jones now soared today to over 25,000, its highest number ever. The job market continues to boom. ADP reporting today 250,000 new jobs created in December alone, which is the most in nine months for that survey. And take a look at this headline. Job cut announcements in 2017 see the lowest level since 1990, Challenger Report says. And here's another headline. Manufacturing in the the U.S. just accelerated to its best year since 2004. And earlier today, the president is moving to now open up offshore drilling. That's right, off the coast, both coasts, and in the Gulf, which is vital to America becoming energy independent, the lifeblood of our economy. And that's just only some of the good news from this week alone. 
Unemployment, a 17-year low, 4.1%. Under President Trump, before the 250,000 jobs, 1.7 million jobs were created. That's now 2 million jobs. African-American unemployment in America is now at a 17-year low. Food stamp use is at a 7-year low. 2 million fewer people using food stamps now under President Trump in one year. Home prices are up 6%. The Trump administration has now taken a chainsaw to burden some regulation from our government. And for every new one they created, in terms of regulation, 16 have been slashed and cut away. There's GDP so far. We have seen two quarters of over 3% growth. And remember, Barack Obama, the only president in the history of this country to never reach 3% GDP growth for an entire year. Now, here's what the media will never tell you. Well, there's a night and day difference between the economy just a year ago. And now under Donald Trump for one year and under Obama's economy, I'll remind you, it was God awful. Lowest labor participation rate since the 70s. Ninety five million Americans out of the labor force. The worst economic recovery since the 40s. The lowest home ownership rate in 51 years. Thirteen million more Americans on food stamps. Eight million more in poverty. Forty three million total living in poverty under Obama in just one year. The economy is now turning around, and that's before the $1.5 trillion historic tax cut even had a chance to take effect. All good news for us. And liberals, the media, they said, oh, the tax cuts are going to be terrible for the economy. It's only going to benefit corporations. By the way, corporations don't pay taxes.